Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Please click on the bell icon. You will get all the notification of my new videos and let's get started. Today I'm going to share with you very quick and easy delicious pork chops. Hot, steaming. Pork chops made in oven. They are so delicious, they are so tender, so juicy. Please try it and you're going to like it. I'm going to use these pork chops and these are big in size and it's almost a six pound and I'm going to wash it. Get a big pot and I'm going to place the pork chops in there. Lemon juice, two big lemons. So I take out the juice, baking powder. I'm going to use one teaspoon and cold water to wash it. So we're going to cut it open. These are big pork chops. So place it inside the big pot. Pour lemon juice on top of the pork chop. One teaspoon baking powder. So after adding baking powder, as you can see, it starts forming up already and we're going to massage it. So turn these over. I'm going to add cold water and I'm going to wash it. So I'm going to run the water a couple times. So after two wash, the water is very clear and clean. The pork chops and we're going to drain the water. For the marination of pork chops, I'm going to use these spices. Cumin powder, one teaspoon. Salt, one teaspoon. Black pepper, one teaspoon. Red chili flakes, one teaspoon. Chili according to your taste. Grinder powder, one teaspoon. Red chili powder, one third teaspoon. So combine these spices. So this is our marination. Get a plate and I will lay out the pork chops just like this. The homemade seasoning sprinkle on top of it and just massage it like this. And turn them over. Then put it on the sideways and make sure that all the sides have a good amount of seasoning. This is the cooking spray and I'm going to use that and just spray it once and that's good enough. I'll bring the baking tray. Spray low amount of cooking oil. Lay these pork chops flat like this. I'm going to put it upside down because we already sprayed the oil on it. One more time, we're going to spray it. And I'm going to finish the rest the same way. After placing all the pork chops in the baking tray, I sprayed the cooking spray. And now we're going to take this one to our oven. The oven is preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a 215 and which is 204 degrees Celsius. I'm going to use middle rack and we're going to place it in. And we'll keep it for 20 minutes. We're going to come back at 235. I'm going to open it. Looking really nice. I'm going to pull the tray out. And I'm going to turn these over real quick. After turning all these pieces, we're going to put it back again. We're going to cook on this side for another 15 minutes. Now I'm going to make the barbecue sauce. 
this is what I'm going to use. You can use any barbecue sauce. And along with barbecue sauce, sriracha chili sauce. This is hot chili sauce. Add according to your taste. I'm going to add some more sriracha. We have a lot of chili already added and I'm going to mix it well. Once it's nicely combined and on the other side our pork chops also getting done. This is perfect. It is 2.52 now. Our sauce is ready. Just be careful. Don't burn yourself. I'm going to keep it 5 minutes on one side and then I'm going to keep it 5 minutes on the other side. If you need more crispy, you can adjust your timing. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to pull the tray back. We'll place barbecue sauce on it, on each one of them. If you look at baking tray, all the fat came out and the oil, you can see the oil. It's going to be really tender and juicy. So once we place uh, the sauce, I'm going to push it back and close it. And we're going to keep it five minutes. I'm going to turn them over and then we're going to put the barbecue sauce another five minutes and they will be done. Then I'll share with you. Look at the delicious pork chops. They are all done. Hot, steaming. These are delicious pork chops made in oven. They are so delicious, they are so tender, so juicy. Please try it and you're going to like it. Let me show you how delicious they are. These are so super juicy and tender. Please try it. And if you like this recipe, like always, like, share, and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Mmm, so good.